Okay, Devon, we left it on a cliffhanger there. You just said, obviously, that you had really started to fork it. Your hair looks fantastic still. It's really good, huh? All right, mate. It's a, sexy, yeah. it's a good look. I, I like that a lot. Now, you just said you you, you, focused, <laughs> you focused on your right hand um, a great deal. Yes. And just picking up on one of the, the comments you made there, and the focus being on the right hand and being on strength, so your primary arm and a factor where you felt you've dropped the ball. Do you believe, therefore, that Mike beat you on strength last time? Or do you think he beat you on awkward, on weird, on tales of the unexpected? Well, I think that last time I wrestled Mike, he did a lot of things right, and I did some things wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, I mean, yes, strength is an issue. Mike is strong. Uh, Endurance-wise, I mean, he initially got me in a more efficient position. And when you're in a superior position, which you'll get through good arm wrestling and strength, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's hard to have better endurance when you're at a position. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I was. You know, you know why I asked that? Because <clears throat> Dave Chafee being a case in point. Yeah. Dave, unbelievably powerful, unbelievably yeah. strong. Yeah. Not necessarily as diverse, nowhere near as diverse at the table as yourself. Yeah. But Michael beat Dave with like consummate ease. I mean, he beat him comfortably, unusually. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, he's his bogeyman. And that's where that question really originated in my mind. Is it a strength thing with Mike or is it just a, it's like, you know, solving a frigging Rubik's Cube? Well, because he's such an un unusual guy to pull. Well, the thing is, is people like to pretend like Michael's not strong. Uh, and this is typically the argument by people who don't know how to arm wrestle. Um, the thing is, is Michael is tremendously strong where it really matters. Uh, Dave is tremendously strong in an area that's not so precise for arm wrestling. Yep. Um, where it really matters, Mike, Mike is, Mike's, yeah, Mike's ridiculously strong in all these upwards rolling just because Michael, you know, has a wrist that bends back, don't think that it's weak to go like this. This is just the stuff. Joey's crawling up. See? <laughs> uh, it's strength. It's strength in the right places, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and you have to arm wrestle well. I actually have a mistake that I will consistently make. I've made it many times in my career. With Mike or with others generally, I it's a mistake that I make, uh, and it's a mistake uh, that I sometimes I figure out what the actual counter is for somebody, like what it is that actually works, and sometimes I rush to get to that spot instead of arm wrestling fundamentally the way you're supposed to and having it kind of land there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Almost like running, like trying to get the knock, force the knockout in a in a fight. Yeah, work off the jab and don't, you know, don't move. It'll come. Yeah, like even even if you think that the answer is to beat a guy in a hook, it's almost like you have to get hooked in. It's like you can't just shoot for the hook. Like you have to top roll, get pulled into the hook, and that's that's a condensed way to think about it. But I thought I had the answer for Michael. And I rushed in getting there instead of fighting for things like the center and, you know, shoulder commitment and all. Anyways, I, I, I think, I hope that my strategy will look, uh, you know, subtly different this, uh, this next time uh, with a little bit uh, better strength. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic about the match. I, I give myself a solid uh, 51 Point three percent chance of winning. Yeah, the interesting thing. I'm going to pick up on what you said there about Mike being strong and people um, not giving Mike the credit for for how powerful he. Mike is really strong. I yeah. mean, if you you know the the Where prior to the even prior to the King's move stuff, even in fundamental positions, Mike's really really strong. I mean, Mike in a hook back in the day was world class inside i mean by any stretch of the imagination you know he, 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 we've seen him inside with absolute monsters but forget king's move mike okay cast your mind back to a lot of the arm wars matches 
matches against people like Marcio, matches against people like Ron Bath. When Ron was rock strong and had Mike busted all over the place and Mike's in a terrible spot and yet had the joint strength, the inner elbow strength. Yeah. Bad man. You know? But I'll tell you, he's stronger now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mate, no doubt about it. And the other, the other thing there is, Deb, I think that's the most strategic Mike that I've ever seen in planning for you. Okay. Because, yeah, yeah. He told me the night before and the morning of mm. exactly what he would do. Yeah. How he how he <laughs> saw it, how the how the steps came, even down to the things like saying, you know, and at this point he's going to be blowing, but he's a fighter and he'll come up and he'll come to the, and I'll call him back to the table. And he won't rest, he'll come back up because he can't stand not to fight and not to walk out alpha. He talked about it himself with the old interview where he t- talked about the head nod. He yeah. got it all in stages. Yeah. And each stage came to fruition. It's interesting. Well, there's a reason why he is where he is. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, he's he's with Wright, the number one guy in North America. Uh, he is where he's supposed to be, uh, perhaps in the world. Um, yeah, I, maybe. maybe. To tell you the truth, I feel a bit bad for Mike. I really do. I feel like, um, you know, I, I'm glad he's pulling me. I'm mm. glad he is, but I don't I don't know if he should be. Uh, but him giving me this opportunity, I feel like I'm one of the, I think that I'm actually one of the guys with the highest percentage chance uh, to beat Michael. Yeah, I would agree with that comment entirely. Maybe maybe higher than Levon. Even though I think Levon would flatten me, I think I've got a better (laughs) shot with with Michael. I agree with that comment entirely. Yeah. I really do. You know, I think that uh, his nemesis are uh, someone with an outstanding flop, and that's just King's move versus flop. Yeah, and and then I think his other uh, danger is a guy who's versatile and can climb. Mm. Uh, a guy like Dmitry Trubin, uh, potentially Vitali Laletin. That's a danger, man, right there. For, yeah. for so much. The, the, and why Vitali I think represents such a great threat to Michael. Um, and let's be honest, no, I'm not singling out Mike here, to most no. people, to most yeah. people, but. is that the height of the arc and that speed, it's very, there's no balance point. Even guy, other guys who, who are tremendous at what they do there, real uh, grinders, guys who can get into those, you know, Grendel matches. If you if they never find the stopping point, it's very, very hard to do it. And Mike isn't a guy who's gifted with long levers, with particularly big hands, with, you know. I'd he, say, he finds I'd a way, though. My God, yeah, he, he finds does. a way. I'd say our best matchup against Vitali is Jerry Cataret. I agree with that as well. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's that's a nice match for Jerry. That's that's a great match for him. Mm-hmm. I, I'd love to see a crossover. You know, um, at some point later, see how the season rolls out, but then maybe take our our top few dudes put together just a a mega match. Yeah, like a battle royal of monsters. Yeah, North America versus Europe. Yeah, mm. there's. I mean, let's be honest. There's some massive talents that are, are, are right on that fringe of crossing over now. You know, we got uh, Gennady Quitvinia has mm. been in touch with me personally, in touch with the World Arm Wrestling League. Extremely keen to to come over and compete. Kadetcha contacted me and said he wanted to come to the World Arm Wrestling League. Um, we and and others. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are very very keen. The biggest restriction, as I said earlier, right now, I mean, people out there think it's as simple as, oh, yeah, uh, I contact Neil, Neil gets me in. Not the case at all. It just isn't the case. You know, a lot of matches, as you know, that I that I recommend uh, don't never see the light of day. I'd love to see them, but they, they, yeah. they don't. There's only a, a set amount of matches in a year. That's it. Yeah. Well, the first card's looking pretty good. So <laughs> what about that card, mate? I mean, let's talk about some of the matches on there. Oh, Bowen, I- Bowen and BLM. Yeah, it's really exciting. Really, um, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be completely honest, and I'll say that this this is probably the hardest one on the on the card for me to call now. If you had asked me um, a month ago, I would have been leaning towards Ryan, and I and I think that look at Brendan is like my teammate. I practice with him. Uh, obviously, I, I'm, I'm in his corner. 
Um, I know that Ryan is basically a professional arm wrestler at this yeah, point. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and when you are a professional arm wrestler, your trajectory is is much harder to match by a guy who's got a job and is working. It's just, but I'll say that BLM's got that stack there. If anybody can do it, it's that young, hungry, ultra yeah. confident guy who's on the rise. Yeah. If anybody can can yeah. address the balance, yeah. You know? yeah. And, and 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 Brennan is such a fierce competitor. Like he's super fierce. It's going to be a great test for him to see if he can not only be fierce, but be smart at the same time, because he'll have to be. Um, one of the things to Brendan's advantage is Brendan doesn't have, besides his job, a lot of distractions between now and when he competes. Yeah. He's, he's all in. Uh, whereas Blue has to, I think he's doing the Arnold's. In, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. So he'll be competing at the Arnold's, which which won't help him. That that's that's not going to help him. No. And and, he, and he's also got to cross the ocean, uh, you know, which which messes you around too. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. So I think I think when they step together, mm, real interesting. I'll tell you, Brendan's a handful. He is a handful. He's man. so it's so explosive, so diverse, Jesus, aggressive so, at the table, yeah. you know. Like his heart, like he's he really mm. loves it. Like so does Ryan, but man, it's hard to find a guy with Brennan's confidence. Really hard. Like you know, you know what I love about him when you watch him on the table with you doing freedom. Yeah. And you, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's great. He'll chuck him. There yeah. is nothing left. He goes in with every fiber of his being, doesn't he? I mean, he really does. You know. And, and everybody around here um, has seen Brennan do amazing things. Like. Mm. It doesn't really always get broadcast to the whole world, but Brennan has beat some really big, strong arm wrestlers around yeah. here through table savvy, uh, being a fantastic arm wrestler, and he's fast and strong. He's really good. He's probably um, the top of his peer group in, in this region by, by a margin. Yeah. There's no, like, I compare him to Justin. Uh, Justin is super duper strong, like tank strong, doesn't have Brendan's table savvy yet. And Brendan's got winning records against Justin. Well, that, that explosivity is a weapon. It's it is. a weapon. He's yeah, a really- savage. I mean, the kid chucks himself into matches. Like I said, I was watching you, you and him on the freedom table and the guy's just, you know, relentless blistering hits. Yeah. You, 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 you miss me and make this much of a mistake. He will punish the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. He's he's um he's a he's a rising prospect for no. Yeah. And this no is bloody. Question. There's a lot on the line here for those lads. When you tattoo your arm wrestling club like right across your fist, and you're like 20 years old, uh, yeah. And a grenade. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're in. Yeah, you're, he's you're, your chips are on the table. Yeah. Have you got Angry Bird or Jamie Sheldon? I I. I I love this match too. I, I'm such a fan of both of these guys. Uh, I I hate it because people think that it's personal. It's it's not. I ah, man, it messes me up because I feel like Sheldon is stronger if the match stops, um, and I feel like uh, Angry Bird might have a better hand and better top roll and uh, better explosivity. And I think that the match will mean more to him. I think that Jamie's focused a lot on his business and his family. Whereas I think that even though I'm sure uh, Angry Bird's got a lot of stuff going on in his life, I feel like I can just feel this guy just burning, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I, so I have, to, I have to give Angry Bird the edge. I don't know. I don't know. I think that there's a lot to be said for that kind of want and desire. A lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Marlin Kleinsmith. Oh my god. Irina Gladkaya. I mean, wow. What a match, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the so, fact that that's not a main event is amazing, isn't it? It should be. You it know what be. I mean? That's yeah. a main event match anyway, that one, isn't it? Yeah. That yeah. should be really the main event. Uh I I don't know. I mean, that's those are two 
such amazing legends in the sport of arm wrestling, you know, world champions many times over. They have quite a history, I believe. I don't know that Malin actually – does Malin have a legit win over – No. Oh, I, I know, but – Same situation but, she had coming in with Fia Rasek. Yeah, yeah. And yet. I, 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 yeah, I know, right? I got it. But it's, I follow them both uh, closely, right? Every day I see Arena in the gym just – Oh, killing. she's – Every she's single day. She's a serial killer. She is yeah. such an animal. So yeah, she, very, very – religious in what she does she doesn't miss a beat and when she's up there you talked about it earlier she's a professional arm wrestler you know this girl is blinkers on russians you know mm -hmm. uh it's it's a huge match big match i think that they'll both be their probably best ever um do you think the format could mess irina up a little bit because she's not used to it no no i don't think so at all uh i don't think there's I, I hear people say that, but I don't really believe so much in that. Uh, maybe a little bit, but uh, these, I mean, we're talking about world level arm wrestlers. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's not a huge difference. It really isn't. It's still basically who's got this stronger hand, who's got the stronger wrist, that person's going to be able to control and dictate. And these girls probably have, you know, I don't know, tens of thousands of hours, you know of their life towards yeah. Armisen. They've got plenty of experience. Yeah. I, I really, I really don't. It's a really hard one to call. It's why it's such a great match. And I, and I do believe that this person should be holding up a hammer. Really. 